Hello, I'm Chris Corey, the superintendent of the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District. I'm here with our chief of police, Walt Tibbet, to discuss some very important safety information. We have three things that we'd like you to remember. Number one, Fairfield Sassoon is a very safe school district. Number two, we have an excellent partnership with the city of Fairfield and the police department in keeping our students safe. And number three, in a crisis, parents play a very important role in keeping our school and our students safe. The men and women of the Fairfield Police Department have completed many hours of training and coordination with the Fairfield Sassoon Unified School District in order to prepare for something we hope we never have to face. That's an active threat on one of our school campuses. We've worked with staff at each school site to put together plans to safeguard our children. Now we need our parents as our partners to know their role in these plans. In the event of an active threat on campus, Every parent needs to be aware that their child's school has developed safety plans and set up specific safety areas near the school. These areas are specially located so children and school staff have easy access to the place that will act as a rendezvous point to enable staff students. In the event of a crisis, your child's school administrator will let parents know the school's designated safety area. As parents, we understand that your first response might be to go directly to the school and look for your child. Our experience has shown that this could be the wrong approach. It may obstruct emergency personnel from responding with essential life-saving equipment or for evacuating the campus. Life-saving resources should not be used to redirect parents or onlookers from the critical area. Instead, we need you to communicate with your children now before an emergency occurs and understand that you'll meet them at the designated safety area. Once you arrive at the safety area, please assist school staff and emergency personnel in keeping the children as calm as possible. You may be asked to help take role, count the children, or gather their information. All students are accounted for. Remember, parents can help in a crisis. We need you to communicate with your children now, before an emergency occurs. Help your child understand that you will meet them at the school's designated safety area. The school district and the police department are hosting several community meetings. Please listen for these announcements and attend one of our meetings and help be part of our crisis response team. Help keep our children safe by preparing for an emergency together.